As Parliament, we are also concerned about the increasing levels of criminality in the country, coupled with acts of torture and ill treatment, as well as the high levels of poverty and unemployment. We call for the full enforcement of the Prevention and Prohibition of Torture Act. Today, as we commemorate this landmark document of our time, we once again call upon the errant security officers and individuals who continue to violate the rights of others to refrain from such actions and demand that perpetrators of human rights violations are brought to book. Let me use this opportunity to remind all security agencies of their constitutional obligations and Article 221 to always observe and respect human rights and freedoms in the performance of their functions. On the other hand, allow me to once again appeal to members of the general public to be law-abiding and to exercise their rights and freedoms within the law and to also fulfill their civic duties and responsibilities. While promoting people's democratic rights, a gender equality perspective is needed. There can be no democracy without equal opportunities for women and men. Questions such as freedom of expression and freedom from discrimination therefore have a strong focus on gender inequality.